Um, I first had, got alopecia when I was eight years old. My father had a heart attack, and uh, we didn't know if he was going to live or die. And I had a whole bunch of little, little dime-sized patches fall out of the back of my head. And they grew back in about six months as my father got better. Surprising. And the next time I had hair fall out was when my son was 18. And uh, he decided that the rules of the house didn't apply to him anymore since he was 18. And I had to inform him that if he was not going to abide by the rules of the house, his other option was to leave. And um, he left, and I lost a quarter-sized patch in the back of my head that never grew back. That was, he's 23 now, and fortunately has turned back into a human being again. Um, and then the last time was as a direct result for massive stress at work. And um, within two months, all of my hair fell out everywhere. And it, it was here, hair, there, hair, everywhere, hair, hair. Old MacDonald had a farm. <laughs> Where, oh, where's my hair? <laughs> and sure enough, we went to a wig shop and um, tried on, we had a blast trying on wigs. Every color, every length, every size. And I found one that was pretty close to what my hair looked like, but I realized I couldn't stuff what was left of my hair underneath the wig, so I shaved it off. Unbeknownst to my husband, who was in Greece at the time, and I did call him and say, surprise! <laughs> <laughs> but I hated the wig. I hated it. Mm. I hated it. It was hot. I sweat. I tried to put on eyebrows and, and got them all in there nice and neatly and put on makeup to try and make up for the eyelashes that are gone. And, and then, lo and behold, I'd sweat and my eyebrows would dribble down my cheeks at work. And I'd get eyeliner in my eye and it was a mess. It was horrible. So finally I said, I'm not doing this anymore. This is miserable and uncomfortable. And my sister, um, I don't want to see. I don't want to see. Our brother had just died, and, and she couldn't deal with any more. She, she said, I don't want to see. So I said, well, if you don't want to see, you're going to have to figure out what you're going to do. So she started making hats. And she, I have about 18 hats, which I wear in the wintertime. <laughs> and um, uh, after, after I took off the wig, I felt free. Mm. I felt free. I could deal with people's curiosity. And I could deal with even the ones who were antagonistic. Uh, like I was in a restaurant one time and, and somebody looked and, and another woman said, well, you know, at least you could cover it up. And I thought, no, I don't have to cover up my mm -hmm. hair. I don't have to be somebody I'm not. Mm -hmm. This is who I am. Mm -hmm. And I'm okay just the way I am. Mm -hmm. um, so. I found that, that people are more curious than antagonistic. A uh, little girl yelled at me in the parking lot and said, Hey, lady, your hair fell off. <laughs> I said, Yeah, I did. Why? She hollers back, mm, I wish people all over the parking lot. They're, and she says, Why? I said, It's called alopecia. Oh, okay, she says. And, and her, th there was a, another smaller child, and, and the man had those big pants on that, you know, the guys have to walk bow-legged so that they don't show their rear ends. And, and he said, hey, man, looks good on you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, dude. Mm -hmm. So, you know, most people have been good. I went on a train ride across the country, and... Um, only one person said anything, all the way from Grand Rapids, Michigan to Glacier Park, the um, Glacier National Park in Montana. Only one woman says something. She says, you got to be where I was. I said, well, where was that? Thinking she probably thought I was a cancer survivor. And she said, at the point where you can't stand the wig. She said, I was at my mother's funeral when it happened to me. And she said, I said, that's it. I hate this damn thing. And I pulled it off and threw it across the room. I thought, well, your timing could have been better, but I, I said, yes, I guess we're at that same, at that yeah. same point. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy, and I'm contented, and, and I like having no hair 
except I do miss my nose hairs. But all the rest of them I don't mind at all, especially those nasty little chin hairs that women of a certain age get. I have no problems with it, and I want people to understand that we're not sick. We're not odd. We're no different than men who get to go out in public bald, and people consider them sexy and virile and wonderful. Um, we're not an oddity. We're just bald. <laughs>